Hi everyone, I'm Father Mark, pastor of St. Paul's in Bellevue, Florida. I hope that when the evening comes for you, whichever one it is, and you're able to look up into the sky, that you see some of the stars that are there. Now, there are a tremendous amount of stars in a clear sky, especially you can see them out west uh, or uh, on other continents. But what amazes me is that sometimes those stars uh, that I see shining, blinking, don't exist anymore. But all that I'm seeing is the light that it emitted for however long ago, and now that, that just that light is reaching us while there is no star. When we look up into the sky and we see things so far away, uh, there's a, a measure called light years, which is used to measure a distance. But it's not only measuring a distance, it's measuring a time. If I see something that is 150 million light years away and I'm looking at it in my present time, what I'm really doing is I'm looking into the past by 150 million years. That's just mind boggling. But what it does tell me is truly there's no such thing as time that is relative to the way that I perceive it. God's time and our time are very different things. Scripture tells us that with God, a day with God is like a thousand years for us. And a thousand being just some magnificent, huge number. Like today we might just go, a day with God is like a gajillion years for us. It's just this tremendous number that number 1000 represents. What makes this important is that my understanding while I'm here, we think like, oh, uh, if someone lives 100 years, that's like forever, and it's amazing. But no matter how long any of us live, it's just a blip on the screen because our true citizenship is in heaven. Our true life to come is eternal. So if I measure what's here now against eternal, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it can't be done because forever is forever. That's what we need to be striving for. We have this moment on earth here. Right now, those of us who are alive, this is, uh, this is our snapshot in time. And we have this moment to prepare for that life to come. That's what we're supposed to be doing. You know, a lot of us, we, we waste our time here trying to accumulate for ourselves more and more and more and we act as if like that's something we're gonna take with us. And it's not going to be. There's an awakening that's coming. When Christ returns and the dead will be raised and the truth will be there that life is eternal. Where do you wanna be when that time comes? Do you wanna be someone who spent all your time or most of your time dwelling upon this existence or someone who has really dedicated themselves to that which is to come. See, God transcended time. He broke into our time to become one of us, to help us become more like him so that when the time does come for judgment, and it's my hope that all of us, you know, are part of that eternal life, and not eternal condemnation, that we think about, you know, the reality of that situation. It's really coming. It's really going to happen one day. Now, I have no clue as to when the exact day and hour of that time will be, but God will decide. And in the meantime, with the time you have left, I hope you realize this and begin to see things a little bit differently, to identify that which is truly valuable, that which is eternal in your existence, and to hopefully perhaps start to build those treasures while you still have this moment here. May God bless you in that effort, amen.